you worked in so many industries, right? Probably four or five, you yeah. can think of, right? What is the, your advice to people like us who's only worked in IT? What can we learn out of some of the best practices from other industries and apply to IT sales? No, so I think there are basic common principles across all industries, right? Uh, as a leader or as an execution person on the ground, um, the same principles apply, right? A very strong understanding of your own PNL, um, a very strong understanding of uh, your own products and offerings uh, that you have. A lot of people discount that uh, as, a, as an important thing. And secondly, I think the most important thing that I have learned is three things about your customers which you need to know. Whether you are in B2C, whether you are in B2B, right? Uh, is do you understand your customer's business? Do you understand your customer's customers? And do you understand your customer's p &L, uh, and balance sheet for that matter? Uh, so, you know, the other day I was sitting down with a team of mine. We were going to meet a big customer of mine. And I asked them a question about, do you know what the results of this company have been? And frankly, they didn't. So we spent a lot of time on that. Um, and that gives you a lot of insights about what you can potentially talk to, have a discussion around, and build opportunities on. So Samir, have you applied any one of those learnings in your new role in Cisco for the last two years? Every day. I think every day when I meet customers, every day when I talk to my teams, uh, I think the focus is around making sure that you, uh, you ensure that your team knows about uh, the implication of their actions on RPNL, the level of understanding that they have of their products and services. And lastly, how well do they know their customers, right? At the end of the day, these same basics apply across any business whether you're in a startup or you're running a $50 billion organization.